Okay, let's take it. You ready? Yeah. What we're doing is we're processing this deer that Brianna just shot for her October 2010 youth season. It's October 9th. But I want to show everybody. Everybody always usually forgets this meat here, this tenderloin. That's, to me, the best part of uh, the deer. So what you want to do is you want to kind of work your fingers in and then down and then slowly start just carving. Just a little bit, piece by piece. And you can clean it up later. You only do this if you do have a lot of the processors. They tend to, like, grind this up. So we're going to take in and scoop it up. And see how that folds over? And what you're going to do is you're just going to take this come right up the edge here. You just got to watch your fingers because these boning knives are really sharp. Slowly start working that. Then you've got to scoop it. Scoop it out. Scoop it out. Just like that. Just like that. And you see how that is. That's the best part to me. It's to me it's excellent. There's two parts of it. There's an outer and an inner. And they're just like fork tender if you let them sit for about a couple days in the refrigerator. Uh, it's just excellent. Of course, you have to clean it up because we're out here in the out here in the woods because we like to process our own. We like to make sure we don't have that community processing where we don't get everybody's meat. We get our own. So now we're going to do the back straps. We're going to go on the back, and this is the second best part. So when you go back straps, you can get her up high enough that we're going to make a cut just below this ham. We're going to bring it in. Then we're just going to work our way down all the way down that spine to her neck. Now this is where the best steaks come from. So we're going to take it in like this. Just you got to kind of watch it because you want to cut as close to that spine as you can. That way you get the most meat. And just slowly start bringing her in. So this is, a, this is the best part here. I mean, we're going to, she'll get a chunk of meat of this. I mean, it's just amazing. So just the, the best thing when you process your own. It's really not all that much of a mess. As long as you have water, uh, you have knife, you can use a boning knife. Um, skinning knife helps a lot because when you're going through, um, but we just work it all the way down, all the way down her neck like this. So just kind of slowly scoop it in there. So that's another point when you when you do your own, you're sure to get this meat, and you can always trim it up later. Um, so you get a big old chunk of meat like that. It just makes the best steaks. It's delicious. So. Until next time, happy hunting. We're going to be eating some venison. So until next time, we'll see you on Divine Outdoors.